In this presentation, we'll be working with email attachments. An email attachment is a file that's attached to an email that you would send to somebody. So if you want to share, for example, a Word document, you can open up a new email and send it to somebody and attach it with a feature called email attachments. So I'm going to show you how that works right now. I've already got my browser open and I'm on my email software in Outlook. And I'll just create a new email and we'll see how this works. Okay, so I'm going to generate a new email. And of course it initiates a new email. I'm going to make the recipient uh, one of my sort of test email accounts that I have called students at dgeolessons.com, which is a real email address. Okay, so that's the recipient. Uh, I'm going to skip the CC, but you should always have a subject line. Again, the subject line should be quite relevant. I'm going to call this attachment test. Just attachment test. Okay, so that will be the subject line. And then in here, I can put some copy in. You can see I already have you know, my email signature automatically put in there by default. I'm just going to say uh, email attachment exercise, period. Okay, so the whole point of this, though, is to actually attach a file. So if you look up here in our toolbar here, we have one that looks like a paper clip. The paper clip is pretty well the universal symbol for attachments. And you can see when I mouse over it, I can also click the little arrow. Just be careful, click the little arrow. Um, I can browse my computer. I can go to my OneDrive. I can upload and share. And I can also link, potentially link to a file that's somewhere else or on my OneDrive. These are potential suggestions. I'm just going to ignore those. But I do know that my file is on the OneDrive, which is where we will typically keep our files this semester. So I'm going to click on OneDrive and search my way through that. Now over on the left column I have various categories but it's the one called files which will take me to the top level of my OneDrive on my Loyalist account. I can see here I have currently two folders in my OneDrive. I know that for this course it's inside of my spring semester 2004. Inside of there I have a course code for this particular course and I believe that is where I previously created an email test file. So I'm going to double click the folder icon and sure enough this is the file that I wish to attach to my email. Again this file is currently on the OneDrive and I can also see a pathway up here again to give me a clue as to where this file is currently. Now under here you see it says, does say share link which is definitely one way of do it, doing it but I'm going to kind of show you the way to actually attach the file itself. So you would click the little arrow here and you can see you have a option of share link and attach. And I'm going to ask you at least this time as an exercise to choose attach. And you'll see it load up and you should see an icon here appear once it's loaded in your email message. And you can click the little down arrow if you want to make sure that it's the right one. You can click preview. And it's just a little file I'd created and it said hello world inside. And to close the preview, there's an X in the upper right corner of the preview window. Okay, so that's the file that I'm about to send. And I'm just going to click in here. I'm not sure what happened here, but I'm just going to retype in my recipient's address. So students at djolessons.com. Okay, I'm going to hit my tab key there. Maybe I didn't hit my tab key originally. That could have been the problem. Okay, I can see it's definitely there now. And I do have a subject line called attachment test. I do have a little bit of text in my content area as well as my automated email signature. But the important thing here is that I have attached a Microsoft Word file called test underscore word zero one. Okay, so that's what I'm going to send. All we need now is click send and sometimes it goes instantly, sometimes it takes a few seconds depending on the size of the file to be honest with you. So I can see that it's still currently sending and that disappeared so it must have sent. To ensure I will go to my sent items and I can see right here and you can click it and I can see this is what got sent and this confirms that it was sent and I can see the content of that email. So there is the message, 
there is the uh, subject line at the top here there is the word file and again you can take a look at it you can do various things such as edit you can save it again you can download it to your local computer a lot of options on the little pull down arrow but in essence this is how we attach a file to an email to send somewhere else and it's known as an email attachment so I'm gonna have you do that as well and you can send it to students at djolessons.com and that is our exercise on attaching a file to an email otherwise known as an email attachment